My one thing is popping a champagne bottle like a boss. Popping a bottle of champagne can be really scary for those who are really intimidated, aka me at every BYO brunch, handing it off to someone else and saying you do it. But I'm really excited to show you the method that has made me feel confident and will make you feel confident too. You'll notice we're chilling our champagne and that's because the colder the bottle is, the less likely that you're gonna have a lot of pressure as you uncork the bottle. First, you're going to take the bottle out of the ice and dry it. Then you're going to remove the foil. You can use a foil cutter or if you don't feel like going out or being bougie, you can absolutely use scissors or a knife. Now you can take the cage off. The cage is there because sometimes the cork can come out of the bottle unexpectedly, which is not terrifying at all. It's fine. So once the cage is off, you're going to drape your towel over the cork and have one hand at the base of the bottle angled away from you and the other holding the cork through the towel. You might want to twist the cork but you should actually be twisting the base of the bottle while you hold the cork still. Eventually, you will hear a subtle pop. And that's it. Not even a mess, you guys. It's that simple. Now that you just opened a bottle of champagne like a boss, we're gonna show you how to master the perfect pour. Angle the glass toward you, and then you're just gonna wet the glass by pouring in about an inch of champagne. Let the bubbles dissipate, and then pour in the rest of the way rotating the bottle slightly so that you do not have any drips. And that's it. Cheers.